I gonna speak English? Well, I'm, I don't know if it's okay with you, but uh, I might be not the only woman, but, but also the only person that speaks English. Um, so let's just see. Okay, my slides are there. Uh, so first of all, welcome to this fantastic event. My name is Justina, as we've said. I'm a, a trained architect uh, and a designer, and my work focuses on the impact of um, new economies on the city, um, and I really, really look into open source. Since a few years, I actually work on open source hardware projects. Uh, and um, the project I was working on is called WikiHouse, and um, we have seen so many problems as an open source hardware project to talk to people about what we do. Um, what I'm going to talk about today, I'm going to tell you a story. It's a, it's a story of innovation, and it's a story of people. The project POC21, uh, it's, a, it's a play with words. You, I guess, already know we're going to have a climate conference uh, in Paris coming very, very soon, um, which is called a COP21. So POC21 is, is um, the reverse of the climate conference COP21. And it also stays for a proof of concept. Uh, so what POC21 was, was it was an innovation camp that was um, taken place from the 15th of August uh, till the 20th of September this year. Uh, and we have done something really amazing. We have um, found 12 crazy, cool uh, open source hardware projects that were all working on sustainability. Uh, one thing we all had in common uh, was the question that you can see, how could we end up in, in the world nobody ever wanted? And um, what we really believe in is the fact that everybody uh, can play an important role in the change. And uh, I know you all work either for big companies or maybe companies that work on open source. So you know how amazing this environment is, how uh, easy it is to count on other people when we work on open source, how we can always stand on, on the shoulders of giants and how we are not alone, how there is always someone else that can develop something that we're not able to do. And um, based on this idea of open source, we wanted to show that there are people that already have developed amazing solutions for the main problems we have today. And not only are they ready, but they're open to modify, open to sell, open to build, open to use. And uh, what we have done is what you guys call open innovation, uh, but we really did it with human. We have mixed a few buzzwords, if you wish. Uh, we have mixed open source, uh, distributed manufacturing, and uh, climate. And uh, we didn't do it in a normal place. We have done it in the castle. So what you have seen is our uh, temporary fab lab. I don't know, who, who knows what's a fab lab? Okay, guys, cool. Um, so uh, as we work in hardware, we needed tools, we needed space, we needed material. And we said, okay, we have 12 projects. They all have prototypes. We have to make them better. We have to show them. We have to show to everybody that open source is cool. Open source is not for geeks. Uh, you know, that those things are uh, available, they're there, and they just have to, you know, become a slightly, you know, sexier. They have to be like, um, you know, as open as Linux, as, as sexy as Apple, if you wish. So um, we had a call for projects. We had 200 um, applications. We have selected 12. Uh, those are the 12 projects that we have selected. We had the wind turbine. We had an uh, urban farming kit. We had a new uh, kitchen unit. We had a tractor. We had a f water filtering system, a new source of a kettle, uh, open source monitoring kit, which is kind of an equivalent of a Google Nest. Um, we had an open source um, greenhouse, uh, a shower that basically reuses water in the cycle. We had a solar concentrator. Uh, we have plenty, plenty of amazing people. 12 projects came for five weeks into a French castle and work with top mentors uh, to really improve their projects and bring them uh, and make them the new normal. 
So I can talk to you, but y you would prefer to see how it happened. So I have a little movie to show you. So if we can play the movie, that's going to be cool. POC21 is a five-week acceleration program that brings together 12 open source projects that work on sustainability issues. The first step for each of the projects will be really clarifying the vision and making sure that uh, we answer uh, the big question that is sustainability. And the second will be how to you know, turn that vision into a functional prototype that is sexy and accessible uh, for everybody. This week we invited all projects to, um, to small task forces that um, consisted of yeah, designers, conceptual thinkers and engineers that analyzed the projects to find out what's their status quo and what needs to happen. I have the opportunity to be at POC21 to see projects in the very first stage. There are some projects in which you just say, okay, this, you, know, you just have to think about how to take it to the world, it's, it's done. No, so it's a great idea, it's a great uh, working prototype, even in some cases it's a product that is already being commercialized. In the other cases you see, okay, this is totally wrong, this, is, this, this product is, is, shouldn't exist in the world, but your design principles are great. No? They did a presentation and it was very technical, kind of explaining the way the thing works, um, but there was no information about who is the target group, how much does it cost, it sounds like some teams are all engineers and, and need product, and some, some teams are like all product and don't have engineering. I analyzed Acre. Well, Acre manages perfectly um, to, um, to promote what they're doing uh, design-wise, communication-wise. But what they want to achieve is make an introduction uh, into um, nature again for uh, people that live in big cities. But you can basically just take, I don't know, an old garbage can, put some earth into it, put a tomato seed, and then you have a tomato growing. You don't really need to invest so much to have that experience. So we rethought the core concept of what they're doing, creating like a modular set that lets people experience ecosystems. So yesterday we had a workshop with designers uh, and the aim was to question our project as we know it right now. They really loved the product and also pointed at some design flows that makes it difficult to realize. And in the end, we, we kind of agree on the fact that the design we had already boiled down from many principles uh, was not the right one for what we want to do. So what we have to do now is really reprioritize all our objectives and get back to a new uh, realistic product. We can then detail design and produce over the next few weeks. I expect some projects to feel completely destroyed and uh, devastated, thinking, oh, oh damn, we kind of, we're, we have to restart <laughs> and um, yeah, reinvent uh, themselves. Not a lot of people think from like the very physical, technological principles towards the end products. And I think that the, the strength of this format is that it brings a lot of people together, some are specialists, some are journalists, and we try to interweave all these different skills and, and abilities. Some teams are in need of some engineering advice, and some teams are in need of design advice. And some are just uh, in, need to, in need for a haircut, right? Done? Mm -hmm. How do you feel, Kim? It's awesome. It's really good. I'm a fresh man now. <laughs> <laughs>
we are here with different projects working around energy or uh, using energy and we don't want to work on different islands and just ignore each other. So here at POC we have the opportunity to work together so let's work together on the energy part and make one interconnected energy system showing that we can be autonomous with only a renewable energy supply. If you put them all together you see that each one of them has a connection to another one. So I think that's, that's brilliant. It's, it's something that actually is a huge potential of this camp. It's actually not to have a 12 isolated projects, but actually a set of projects that can work together, that can complement each other. The challenge is actually to make it possible. I think the goal of POC21 is not only to be here and to share some time together. We can do that without having the stress of making some projects. I think the real challenge is actually that in four weeks, we see some of those projects being a reality. Not only in terms of a physical prototype, but actually that with a plan for, for a distribution plan or a marketing strategy and that will allow these projects to live beyond this camp. So this is what I call open innovation. Um, I kind of have no words. This is, uh, it, it happened a few months ago and it was not just an innovation camp. It was not a hackathon that took three days and then everybody went home. Um, we were all there for, in my case, seven weeks for, in the case of others, five weeks. And we did not only work together, but we kind of lived together. Um, but uh, I'm not a hippie, I kind of did it on purpose, I have flowers on my, on my clothes, but I'm far, far from being a hippie. We went to that project saying we have 12 open source hardware startups uh, that we have to accelerate. We were so, um, you know, goal oriented. We called for best um, mentors and um, supporters. There were scientists, designers, um, you know, business developers, and all those people came and, and stayed with us in, 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 in Milmont for five weeks. But um, we, it was a success. You know, all those questions that Thomas Diaz from Fabla Barcelona did raise, uh, are they going to make it? Yeah, we did. I mean, we had, after five weeks, we had a, a crazy exhibition. Um, you can see those are images. And a dome, uh, 350 square meters, we've built a dome. Um, where we expose all those projects. We were open for two days, two million people came. Um, and we did not have a problem um, to communicate about what we're doing. We had kids coming with grandparents. Um, this, the, the project you can see here is the kitchen. Uh, so basically it's a kitchen that is, it's a smart kitchen, but it's a really smart kitchen. There are no electronics in that kitchen. Um, but it works. Uh, this is the, solar generator, uh, this is the solar concentrator, this is the tractor. All that worked, you know, we really managed, we solved all the technical problems. Um, we had a crazy amount of fun, but uh, I know, I don't know if you develop projects, you know how it is. It was, it was crazy to talk about that today, but uh, it was really not easy. It was, it, was, it was hard to develop you know, those things in five weeks. We had, we had many problems. Uh, yes, we had you know, uh, the biggest fab lab I've seen with five workshops. We had you know, metal workshop, we had electronic workshop, digital fabrication workshop, you know, massive CNC machines. Um, you know, we did all that work. Um, but what's really interesting is the way uh, that this community developed. Um, is the way how the project grew, is the way how agile we were, is the way how we, you know, found solutions. We had, you know, crazy talent and people of, on board. So there was no problem that couldn't have been solved 
Um, what you can see, it's a very agile way of, of making boards, because for every issue, uh, we had to develop a system. Uh, and even we developed a system for you know, developing systems. Um, so it really shows that open source is you know, extremely agile. Um, it's reactive, it's fast. It can not only be applied to, to software, but it's even more powerful when applied to hardware, especially if you take um, such a topic as, as climate change. Imagine, you know, with the speed or with the amount of shares that we have, you know, for Linux, if, if we share, you know, sustainable solutions that way. Uh, yeah, it's going to grow fast. The community, that, that's what's crazy about open source hardware, uh, software, is that it has this community of people that, you know, uh, if you're a Linux user, you use your Linux, and you, you, you love your Linux. And uh, that's exactly what's amazing about the open source community. And imagine this applied to, you know, really having a purpose. Uh, this is a solution we found for not, you know, killing the floor. Um, so being so focused on, you know, accelerating open source hardware startups, um, I completely forgot about, you know, human relation. And uh, five weeks passed. Uh, I had to clean the toilets because we had, clean, you know, we had um, dry toilets. I did, you know, cooked. Uh, I'm a designer. I developed products. And you know, five weeks later, we had a crazy, crazy, crazy community that's still thriving. And um, I like to show that slide because uh, I have nothing against COP21. I find it's it's, it's great, but. Um, uh, I'm being, I, I am invited very often now to talk about political making. Um, and I say what we do is not political, political we just do things. Um, so uh, I hope uh, you know, open source uh, can have a really positive impact on the world. Thank you. <laughs>